Introduction Each day we perform many activities. We study, we play, we eat, we run and many others. Friends, do you know our bones and muscles play an important role in performing all such activities? Bones and muscles are the important parts of our body which make all bodily movements possible. Come on, let us learn more about these in this lesson. Bones and Muscles Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Know about bones List the functions of bones Tell about joints Explain different types of joints Know about muscles. Describe the two types of muscles, voluntary and involuntary muscles. Discuss the functions of the muscles. Every single person has a skeleton made up of many bones. These bones give your body a structure. At birth, a newborn baby has about 300 bones whereas an adult human body contains approximately 206 bones. What functions do bones perform? Come, let us know. Bones give shape and support to the body. They help in body movements. They protect the delicate vital organs like the brain and the heart in our body. Red blood cells and some types of white blood cells are produced by the marrow present in hollow parts of the bones. What happens if bones are broken? Is it possible to join them? The broken bones can be joined with the help of plaster. The plaster gives the bones support from outside. For the growth and repair of bones, we must eat plenty of protein-rich foods. The bones are fitted together by means of certain structures. These structures are called joints. Joints facilitate body movements. There are of two main types of joints. Immovable joints, movable joints. Let us first discuss what immovable joints are. Immovable joints are the joints where no movement of the bones is possible. The joints of the bones of the skull are immovable joints. Most movable joints allow free movement of the body parts, whereas in some joints only a little movement is possible. Movable joints are grouped into four types on the basis of movement. Come, let us discuss each type in detail. Hinge joint. These are the joints which can be bent in only one direction. For example, elbow joint and knee joint. The joints which join the bones to make the circular movement possible are called ball and socket joints. For example, the bone in the upper arm is fitted to the bone in the shoulder by a ball and a socket joint. Similarly, the thigh bones is fitted to the hip bone by a ball and socket joint. Friends, have you ever noticed that we can move our hands and our feet in different ways? The joints which allow such movements are called the gliding joints. Joints in the wrist and the ankle are the examples of these joints. Pivot joint. Our neck allows us to turn our head on both sides. Have you ever think what makes this possible? This is possible because of the pivot joint. Friends, make a tight fist and bend your arm at the elbow. Feel your upper arm. It feels harder. This is called the biceps.
the biceps are muscles. There are about 600 muscles present in an adult human body. Muscles are made of fibers and are generally attached to the bones by means of tendons. Muscles along with bones help to give shape to the body. They also help the different parts of the body to make the movements. According to the nature of their functions, muscles are of two types, voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles. Some actions are performed whenever we wish like eating, walking, etc. We can start or stop these actions whenever we want. Muscles that carry out these actions act according to our wishes or volition are called voluntary muscles. Movements brought about by voluntary muscles are called voluntary movements. Our arms and legs contain voluntary muscles. The functions of the stomach, intestines, heart go on in a fixed manner. The functioning of these organs is not dependent on our wishes. Such muscles are called involuntary muscles and their movements are called involuntary movements. For good health, it is important that our muscles are strong and functioning efficiently. Regular exercise makes our muscles strong. The rate of heart's action increases during exercise and we breathe faster. As a result, plenty of oxygen and nutrients in the blood are supplied to all parts of the body. This makes us feel refreshed and lively. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Every single person has a skeleton made up of many bones. These bones give our body structure. The bones are fitted together by means of certain structures. These structures are called joints. There are two types of joints. Movable and immovable joints. Movable joints are of four types, hinge joints, ball and socket joints, gliding joints and pivot joints. Muscles are made of fibers. Muscles along with bones help to give shape to the body. Voluntary muscles and involuntary muscles are the two types of muscles present in our body.